Why are you gonna pull in front of me like that and then pull in front of me mad? So like, what's wrong with people? Yeah, I know you see me all in your notifications. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new here and you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. I finally put my car mount back in my car because y'all know nine times out of ten if I'm recording in the car, I'm sitting in a parking spot because my car mount was in my bathroom. Y'all remember when I had that whole epiphany that I could put the car mount on my mirror and it could act as a tripod when I'm doing like care content or whatever in my bathroom. Yeah, never put it back in my car. So it's been in my bathroom for months now. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm on my way to the mall, you guys. The day has finally come. We are getting our MacBook, but I'm actually like on a real time crunch. It's 1.30 now. Um, babe has to be somewhere at three o'clock, but it's like 10 minutes away from us, not far. So yeah, where he has to go isn't far at all. It's just a matter of, you know, getting back in time because he can't take Kai with him. But yeah, so I have literally like 45 minutes. Like by the time I get to the mall, it's gonna be like 1.45. So I have like 45 Five minutes to why are you gonna pull in front of me like that and then pull in front of me mad so like what's wrong with people so yeah I literally have 45 minutes to spend at the mall and y'all know how I get I go in the mall for one thing and yeah so also this past week I was actually in New York I'll enter the little montage cuz y'all know if you guys been rocking with me since the very beginning every time I go home to New York which by the way if you guys are new here I am from New York um, but when I go home to New York, I become the worst vlogger ever. Like, I be trying, so like I be having footage, but it don't really be enough for a vlog. So I'm just gonna incorporate what I got into this vlog. we had went out to eat i forgot the name of it and i'm so mad i don't remember the name of it but 
probably wouldn't go back just because they really kicked us out and we were still spending money and I just didn't like the way they went about it like I went to the bathroom came back and they already had new people in our at our table so I'm like what happened my mom's like oh she's putting on her coat and then the server sent the uh, bus over there to clean our table mind you the server already like before I went to the bathroom she came over and she was like oh you know your time limit is up I need to get from behind you you're pissing me off I'm not turning because you're turning and you cannot drive like what is wrong with you anyways um what was i saying y'all i want to go that way but i'm gonna be tight if i end up behind him like if he turns down i'm gonna just go through this way um so yeah she's like oh you know your whatever the time limit was which i didn't even know they had a time limit um but she's like you know your time limit's up da, 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 da. but we're you know still spending money like still ordering drinks and stuff so then i'm like what if I want another drink? And she's like, you can order. And I'm like, do you do to-go drinks? She's like, no. And then I'm like, so I'm going to need more time to finish the drink that I order. Like, you telling me I could still be ordering stuff, but you're also kicking me out. That doesn't make any sense. And then the fact that I went to the bathroom and came back that, and our table was gone, I really didn't like that. Probably will not be going back there. So they're a lounge kind of place. So it shows because I feel like places that are more like lounge vibes... Their food is extra expensive because people don't really go there for the food. They're going for the, the you know, the, uh, the vibe, the lounge. Their food was expensive. Like, chicken cost more than steak and their salmon, y'all. A half chicken, if I'm remembering correctly, was like $70, $80. But that's neither here nor there. I ended up getting a steak. Um, my steak was on the saltier side to me. And I also asked for a medium. It was medium well, so... But everybody else's food was good. You know, I was dibbling, dabbling here, there, and there. Um, I went with my mom. It was originally just supposed to be me, my mom, and my sister. You know, a little Mother's Day thing. Um, but then I invited my friend Essence. And then she invited her mom. So it still kind of was like a Mother's Day thing. But Essence is a, isn't a mom, but whatever. Their hookah also was $70, y'all, which is the highest I've ever seen. My mom said she paid $70 for a hookah before. But again, she be in New York. In D.C. it was $50 and even, you know, there it was like, whoa, that's, you know, a lot. Compared to where I work, like, I feel like considering I work at a whole hookah lounge and our most expensive hookah is $40, you know, these other places is really throwing me for a loop and it'd be their basic flavors. It's nothing even like premium, because $40 at my job is our premium flavor of hookah. But whatever, um, $70 for the hookah and it was trash. And, I, yo, Instagram, TikTok, all them places... As y'all seen in the uh, last vlog, all these places really be hyped up because this place we went to, my mom found it on Facebook and it's probably on TikTok too because it was like a real type video. And these places really just don't be living up to the hype, don't be up to bar, up to par. Uh, so I'm about to just stop going to places that I found on TikTok and on the internet because... But yeah, like I said, on my way to the mall now, but I'm very limited on time. I gotta be in and out. I also have to take some stuff um, back to the store like return it because also when i was in new york y'all i baited i don't know who i thought i was every time i go home i'm about to become that person that just brings me and i'll buy clothes when i get there because i always pack and i try to pack small because you know i y'all my camera right cut off on me i think i need to stop vlogging in the car because my i think the camera be overheating but um Dang, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, so, you know, I be traveling with Kaya, so I be trying to uh, pack light. And everything that I pack, I never wear. And then also, I be going shopping in New York. Like, I feel like, now I understand why people specifically just travel to, like, New York and big city places just to shop. Because, again, the store that I went to, you know, um, we have that where I live. I went to Forever 21, y'all. I don't know why I'm acting like it's some exclusive place. Um, but the Forever 21 out here didn't have half of the stuff that the Forever 21 in New York had. But anyway, so some of the stuff that I bought, you know, I actually tried it on when I got home and I didn't like the way it looked. One of the items, I accidentally picked up a medium. Like, girl, you know you were small. So just a little fi uh, minor things I got to take back. Apple Store. And then we're just going to go ahead and get out of there. We're actually supposed to be going out to dinner today. You know, a little late Mother's Day dinner. But I don't know if we're still going. I mean, it's kind of up to me, but I don't know if I feel like still going. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm back in the house and I'm so sad to announce that they did not have the Mac I wanted in stock in store. So I do have to order it online. But I just wanted to tell you how Apple be trying to get us real quick. Hold on, hold on. So we about to go on their website, right? 
So there's three different um, iMac desktops, okay? Let me, let me tell you how I winded up narrowing down my decision, which shout out to the guy at Apple, kind of, sort of, not really, because they wouldn't have told me any of it. Like, I'm the one who was pointing this stuff out because I really wasn't understanding it. For the longest, like, y'all know, I've been, like, debating on whether or not... I've been debating on whether or not I wanted this for a while now, but like since mentioning it on the blog, it's been about like a month or two. Um, but I was on the, there's a page on Apple that you can compare all three models. And I've been looking at all three of them and I couldn't seem to find the difference between any of them. The final one, so there's three of them. One is, I'm under student, student pricing, which I also learned y'all. So in the Apple store, you need a well I don't even know if you really need it because he didn't ask me for it but I just showed it to him because the last time I went the associate you know told me that I would need the student ID but Apple does do a student discount um also the employee from the last time told me that it was a hundred dollars you know that was just the, the discount a hundred dollars but it depends on what item you get like some like the specific Mac I was getting it was only fifty dollars off um the more expensive max you get like 150 off things like that anyways um so i'm under student pricing right now on the apple website you don't need <laughs> i thought it was gonna have me like signing you know how those some clothing websites they'll give you a student discount but you gotta sign into like uni days or verify you're a student apple didn't require none of that like you only gotta verify if you go in person which is you know kind of backwards to me but whatever um so what I'm about to read y'all is the student pricing. So the first one is twelve. Uh, why can't I read? Twelve forty nine, which is only fifty dollars off. The regular pricing is twelve ninety nine. Um, the next one is thirteen ninety nine. The original pricing is fourteen ninety nine, and then the last one is fifteen ninety nine. The original pricing is sixteen ninety nine. So those are the three different versions of the iMac and their pricing. So again, I'm looking through like. There's minor differences, but nothing worth the price difference between all three. So, at first, I was going to get the second one because it says two Thunderbolt USB 4 ports and then two USB 3 ports. And the cheapest one doesn't have the USB 3 ports. So, I'm asking the guy, I'm like, what is that? Like, what's the difference? And he was saying that um, the 3 ports is the old USBs, which I need because I have an external hard drive. And it's the old USB. It's not, I don't even have, like, a phone charger over here, but, or iPad charger. Or this laptop charger, honestly. Y'all know the iPads, the newer chargers that they have, the USB port, or even the USB port for the new phone charger, it's not the rectangle that it used to be. It's a small little thing, almost similar to what actually goes into your device. Yeah, so he was saying the USB 3 port is the older one, and I needed that because my hard drive and my printer for my shipping labels are both the older USB ports. So those would come already built into the computer, so we thought. Then he wound up getting a co-worker asking me. He said, no, all the new MacBooks have the newer USB port. They don't know what it's talking about online, like... It's not true. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that was wrong. So that was mainly the reason why I was going to go to the second, like the middle um, version. Because I needed that, you know, old USB. But being that it didn't come with the older USB, I'm like, alright, so I'm going to get the cheapest one. Because other than that, y'all, well, that wasn't even the difference. But the main difference between the first one and the second one is you'll get two uh usb ports rather than four the more expensive one you get four usb ports i don't need four usb ports i'm never gonna have more than two things plugged in at once that's one two the keyboard comes with the finger touch id i don't care about nobody's finger touch id um then what else like it's just a mind it's the same amount of storage it's the same amount of um uh memory the only difference again with the second more expensive one you get more colors like the second more expensive one you can also get orange uh is that pink orange yellow and purple with the one that i winded up wanting you can only get blue green pink and silver lucky for me i wanted the silver one and the silver one is available in all colors so i say this to say again i, I don't work in apple i'm not a tech specialist I don't understand what half of these terms means, but for me, the cheapest one was just like, it's no reason for me to get 
the more expensive one the one that's the most expensive um you do get more storage with that one that one is 512 gigabytes whereas the other two are 256 gigabytes but i'm mainly going to be using this computer for editing um and stuff and i have my external hard drive for that my external hard drive is one terabyte so i did wind up going ahead and ordering the computer online and it will be available for pickup tuesday so today is thursday y'all so we got a whole nother friday saturday sunday monday dang that's five days you know, Tuesday and Thursday are two days apart, but Thursday and Tuesday are five days apart. That's not crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, so yeah, we got basically a week. Pretty much might as well be a week until I get the computer. But I already started editing the vlog that you guys saw before that. So, you know, I'm on my stuff. I should have the computer in time to edit this actual vlog that you guys have seen. And I'm so excited. We are posting our content. Okay, doesn't matter what it is. These next six months, we locked in. Anyways, ignore what y'all see going over here. My desk is actually a mess. Let me tell y'all why I was really so pressed in the first place to get the computer. One of these vlogs, I was telling y'all that I wanted the Mac to be the, you know, final finishing touches in my little office corner space or whatever. But my sign came and oh, I'm actually about to show you guys it. Hold on. So I just realized y'all probably like what sign because I never even told you guys what it was. I just told you guys that I had another piece coming for this little area over here. But I never told y'all what it was. But another one of my Mother's Day gifts. Babe got me a little sign for my little desk area. And look at her, y'all. She says, Catrice Hair and Beauty. We are a brand. We are expanding. Stay tuned for all of that. But this is, you know, my official brand name and the tagline, if you will. So, my issue is... Y'all also remember like two vlogs ago, I was telling y'all if it can be hung up with thumbtacks, if it can be hung up with command strips, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang it up with one of the two. But this cannot be hung up with uh, thumbtacks. And is that a scratch already? I didn't do that. But anyways, um, yeah, so can't be hung with thumbtacks. And then command strips, as y'all can see, it's clear acrylic. So you're going to see the command strip. So that's whack. So once this is on the wall, it's on the wall and I'm putting it over the wallpaper. So like there is zero room for error. Like I'm using real nails. So there will be an actual hole in that wallpaper. And then if I want to move it, the holes are going to be in the wallpaper. It's not like, you know, if it's a regular wall and I want to move it, I can just move it and, you know, put something over the holes or whatever. No, the wallpaper will be damaged and I would have to buy a new wallpaper if it was that serious and I want it to be aesthetically pleasing. I also did something with the desk over there. I'll show you in a minute. It's so much. What's mainly on that desk is clothes, y'all. I also need to finally go through my wardrobe and clean it. I think we're going to do that in, that in this vlog because, like I said, when I was in New York, I went shopping. So I got all these clothes and know where to really put them yeah my issue but i kind of made an l-shaped desk because y'all know i had two desks one was my vanity and then one i strictly bought for business um since moving kaya's crib in the other room i bought the other desk in here i was trying to sell it at first but i can't seem to get rid of it so i'm like you know what well, let me put it to good use and i kind of made a little l-shaped desk i will show you guys um which ultimately ultimately i feel like is better because what y'all see right here this big thing that is a printer my parents got me for mother's day because i'm gonna need it to print my own labels i was doing the math and the calculating it was more what's the word i'm looking for it made more sense for me to buy a printer and print my own labels than over time repeated repeatedly ordering labels for somebody else to make if that makes sense like the blank labels are like twenty dollars for 50 labels the printer was like 250 and it was a gift so you know that that adds on to this is more cost effective for me anyways me making the l-shaped desk um you know is better because now i have space for that printer and it's a big printer i'm so mad this printer is so big y'all i was not expecting it to be so big but we're gonna go over there in a second so i can show you guys everything that i'm talking about but yeah i'm saying all of this to say with it being an l-shaped desk and not really an l-shaped let me we gotta go over there because y'all can't understand what i'm saying so honestly i don't think it looks as bad over here as i kind of thought it did in my head but it's still you know it's a lot going on so this was the original desk by itself this is the second desk so what i mean by it's l-shaped but it's not really l-shaped like my chair i can't move my chair right here like 
this would be the per this would be the ideal place for the computer to be right in the corner of the desk most people with l-shaped desk that's where they put their computer but their chair will move right here too my chair will not so i have no choice but to keep the macbook somewhere right here so as y'all can see this is not the middle of the wall this is the very edge of the wall and originally i wanted the sign right in the middle of the wall originally i wanted it right here but i feel like with the laptop all the way over here like the laptop will be i mean the computer will be like right here take up this much space and then the sign will be right in the middle i mean it might not look that bad but again that's why i just want the um computer to really see in person because then I thought about, you know, putting the laptop, I mean, why I keep calling it a laptop, putting the computer in the middle right here, but then as y'all can see, my chair would be a little, you know, off to the side, but I feel like there's nothing wrong with kind of editing at an angle, you know, and then I thought about putting the sign off to this side or still putting the computer over there and I can sit right, I can be far from the computer, that's not really a problem, but it's all about, am I comfortable sitting right here with the computer being right here editing? I don't know we just have to see um this is some of my clothes that I bought that I have to put away still more wallpaper as y'all can see this little patch right here is still empty debating debating see this is also why I just need the computer to see because do I want to go through all of that work to fill in this small little square like look how long like how wide this wallpaper is and I really only need like this much I'm gonna have to match it up to the very top the little puzzle I also thought about wrapping it around right to this wall, but if I wrap it around, it's not going to be enough to fill from here to the closet door and it's going to look crazy. Yeah, this is not my feel. So I think right now, what time is it? Hey Siri, what time is it? Siri don't be listening. Alexa always on time. I know my phone is somewhere in here. I just don't know. Oh. It's right here. She didn't answer me, but she didn't say it out loud. All right, so it's 4.16. We're actually supposed to be going to dinner tonight, and Babe's mom is watching Kaya, but they didn't have no available reservations online, so I'm actually about to call and see if they have anything. I'm not trying to... It's Friday, so, like, oh, why is... I think I said early in this vlog that today was Thursday. It's Friday, y'all. Not early in this vlog, but like a couple of second, seconds ago when I was complaining how Tuesday and Thursday are so close together, but Friday is mad far away. It's Friday, y'all. And that's probably why the thing ain't gonna be here till Tuesday, because you know, weekends and stuff. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's Friday. I'm trying to avoid traffic. Like, coming back from the mall, we go the opposite direction from where his mom is. So the way going towards his mom, the traffic, the traffic um through let me see how long it says it'll take right now yo yeah we're we're definitely not leaving now but we actually y'all so right now it says it's gonna take an hour to get to his mother mind you on a good day, like late nights when I used to go to um, the lounge, because the lounge isn't far from where his mom is, it would take me like 20 minutes. That's, you know, not late nights, but like 7 o'clock. Nobody's really on the road. Rush hour's over. But like on a regular, like on a Tuesday or something, 11 o'clock in the morning, it'll take like 29 minutes, 30 minutes. But right now, it says an hour? Yes, yeah, so... Granted, it is it is still only 4 o'clock. She doesn't even get off till 5. Probably won't get home till like 4.30, get settled like 6. So by then, hopefully rush hour is over and this changes. Like, look at all that red. <gasps> Y'all, it's a lot of red. It was an accident. Mm-mm-mm. Got to be more careful. <laughs> no, but I also got some press on ass because y'all probably been looking at my nails in these last couple of vlogs. Like, Kalea, what is going on? Um, after I go through these closets, I think I'm gonna put them on because I kind of want some. Oh, I'm not even like on me. Um, oh snap, y'all. Sorry, y'all. I just realized that I had something in the air fryer that I totally forgot about because I definitely been talking talking to you guys for an hot, a hot minute. That's my issue. I can talk. I can talk, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, um, they ended up making the reservation, so I don't have to call them. Anyways, is at eight thirty. That is. It's not late, but it's late. Um, but hopefully by then, you know, 
traffic will would have subsided but that also gives me you know enough time to go ahead and clean out this closet well not clean out the closet but like go through my clothes and stuff but i'm gonna eat first so i'll be back all right y'all so i'm in the closet and this is the best angle i can get y'all it's not a walk-in closet it is pretty spacious i mean got a whole dresser in here but this side of the closet is mine this side of the closet is babes i do have a couple of things in this corner and a couple of shoes but for the most side this is my side um so let me tell you how i got my drawers organized right so this top one is my work clothes so uh for my day job and then black clothes because that's why i wear it to the lounge so that's all in this drawer um this drawer can stay in here i don't think i'm gonna swap it out uh, this drawer, look, I don't even remember. This drawer is tops. This drawer is two pieces or, like, dresses, outfits, pretty much, that I don't gotta, you know, like, pair together. It's already an outfit. And then this bottom drawer is my shorts. Like I said, um, I done went through this, I done went through everything last season when I was swapping everything out. But we gonna go through it again because I feel like I kept so much stuff that I knew good and well i'm probably never gonna wear again like every time i'm trying to find something to wear like i have a lot of clothes y'all i have a lot of clothes but some still with tags on it but when i'm looking for something to wear this just don't be the stuff that i grab for so we're gonna go through it i'm gonna make three piles uh keep give away i'm not gonna say throw away give away and then needs to be tried on because you know a lot of this stuff off looks. I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And then also, you know, the days that I am looking for so uh, something to wear, I do reach for the stuff in here, but then I try it on and I don't like the way it looks. So let me go ahead and try it on now, get it out the way, see, you know, make the final decision later, the final cut. See, like, I have shirts still with tags on them. Um, I'm going to try this on. I'm going to do the try on pile over there. And then, like, some of these clothes I had for years, so it's like, Kalea, just get rid of it. So, boom, I have this shirt, right? Still got the tag on it. Two colors. I have it in black and white. My mom actually gave it to me. I think she asked, no, yeah, she gave it to me. This was hers. It's a medium. Um, and I never wore it, but I hold on to it because I'm like, they're basic black and white shirts. Like, one day I might wear it. And, you know, it's a little hold to top. It got the back out. But I've had this for years now, and as y'all can see, still has the tag, still have yet to reach for it. But I'm going to keep it, y'all. I'm going to keep it. I'm not throwing it away. Y'all, am I Am I going to throw anything out? All right, so this is like a little bandeau top. I don't think I've ever worn it, but the tag's not on it anymore, so I probably like tried to wear it. Oh, and I got a hole in it, so we're going to throw that away. Matter of fact, so I'm going to do a throw four piles. The fourth pile is throwaway pile, because I'm not going to give away something that got a hole in it. So, throwaway pile. So this shirt, y'all, if you know, you know, I didn't get a chance to take maternity pictures because uh, Kaya did come a whole four weeks early. But I do have this one picture in this shirt showcasing my little belly. So I feel like that's why I hold on to this shirt because it has a sentimental value to me. Also, it is a cute shirt. But also, I, I have had it for some years now. Um, I'm going to keep it, though. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> So this shirt from Fashion Nova, I actually have two of them. One is an extra small, one is a small. I ordered the extra small first, but the sleeves were really tight. They're still really tight. Um, I'm going to put this in the try-on haul because I need to find the small and try that on too. I mean the try-on pile. Y'all, this top I wore one time to take pictures. Never wore it again. Mind y'all, this was when your girl was breastfeeding. So, you know, they was looking nice. I feel like the shirt's not going to give me the same effect since I'm not breastfeeding anymore. But I'm going to throw it in the try-on um, pile because it is a really, really cute top. That's why I've been holding on to it for so long. Y'all, this shirt. This shirt right here. I wore this in a vlog my freshman year summer. It was my cousin's graduation that's the last time I remember wearing this shirt and I've been holding on to it since because like it's a real basic shirt I'm like look even on camera it makes me want to keep it but it's like I've had this shirt for so long and haven't worn it since I'm gonna throw it in a try on haul uh try on let's see how it looks so this shirt last time I remember wearing it was also my sophomore year again a lot of these clothes are from my sophomore year y'all I had some yellow pants 
which I think I actually don't have anymore. I don't know what happened to them, but the yellow was the same yellow as the stripes, and I wore this as a set. But being that I don't have those pants anymore, I feel like I should give away the shirt now. I mean, it was a cute shirt. Like, it's definitely giving crunch. Do I not really not have those pants anymore? Why did I, like, do whatever? Oh, wait, no, they're right here, y'all. Hold up. See, this side of the closet, I really have to go through because I never <laughs> reach over there. So I'm actually about to go through these pants now. These are all, like, my dressy type pants. But, yeah, these are the yellow pants right here. And, see, I totally forgot about them because I do not reach over there. So... With that being said, I'm actually going to keep this. We can run that fit back one more time. That was, like, years ago. So, boom. This romper, right? Fun fact. Again, I told you guys, like, I really be recording content for YouTube. But, you know, sometimes it really just doesn't make it. But I did plan on doing a, you know, my mother buys my wardrobe kind of video. Something like that. So, my mom bought me a bunch of stuff. And... I tried it on, you know, gave my review, rated everything. And so ironically, she bought me this exact romper. This is not the one she bought. This is one that I had from my freshman year. No, my sophomore year. I wore this on the first day of classes of my sophomore year. If you guys remember that vlog when AD broke my phone. Yeah, that vlog, I wore this. And that was the only time I wore this. But it is really cute. I don't know why I haven't. Like, it's just... I'm gonna give this one away though because like I said I got two so and I still have both of them like the one my mom gave me is hanging up I believe but we can get rid of one of them so I'm gonna give that one away and then I mean the other one's hanging up so it ain't really taking up space and if I decide I want to wear it in the future I can okay so this is a dress I actually bought while I was pregnant I bought it in the medium um thinking I was gonna gain some weight after the baby dropped <laughs> didn't I actually have to try this on. I haven't tried it on since I bought it, but I also have... I haven't worn it. I haven't thrown it on. I haven't done nothing with that dress. I got a lot more stuff to go, in, go through, and I've been spending a lot of time on this vlog talking. So I will come back. Um, I don't know when I'm going to come back, but y'all don't want to watch me go through all three of these drawers. This is something you do when you have a vlog and don't know... Like, don't have any... You don't have any content. So this is content, but I actually have a lot more to do. Um, throughout this video and I don't want this video to be too too yeah. Baby I watch how you be working She in the back to get a Birkin She not the type to ever want for nothing Without going to put yeah. the work in She got a little vibe, she dangerous Superstar fly, she famous I'm on you, so what you tryna do? I'm tryna call you my baby Girl, I watch you put that work in From 9 to 5, you not twerking You in your bag and you're burking And lately we don't speak, we should spend some time I know we both get into it, this a different grind Them bills and schoolwork got you tripping But keep your head up, stay on a mission You ain't gotta worry if you fitting in you a dime, you a boss, I hope you listen yeah. in Don't you worry about these niggas and these fake hoes Go take a trip and spend some pesos And baby, how can see a halo? You about to blow like volcanoes and shock the world And what you do, keep it going, ain't no stopping, girl I like what you about, I should make you mine I'm being real, ain't tryna waste your time I'm coming to you as a man, cause I ain't tryna wait in line We meant to be, how can see the signs? Baby, I watch how you be working She in the back to get a Birkin she not the type to ever want for nothing Without going to put yeah. the work in She got a little vibe, she dangerous Superstar fly, she famous I'm on you, so what you tryna do? I'm tryna call you my baby Good morning, you guys So today is Monday And I'm actually on my way to a lash appointment It's 9.37, my appointment's at 10 um, y'all never heard me come on here and talk about some lash appointment because I don't get my lashes done. I don't get my lashes done because, one, I sell lashes. So, you know, if I had lash, lash extensions on, I couldn't really wear my own brand and promote that. Two, 
me personally, I used to get my lashes done back in when I was in high school. So this was way before, you know, everybody was becoming lash, lash techs, certified lash technicians, all that. I know I'm about to be in there for a minute, which is why we scheduled this appointment super early. Um, this girl I work with, she's actually doing my lashes. She's actually just starting off. So I'm one of her models for her volume set, y'all. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I had to support my girl because she always supports me. From the day she first started and met me, bought every single one of my lash styles, y'all. She was supposed to be a brand ambassador too and everything. She always supports, so you know I had to come through and support her. But I just wanted to uh, come on and greet y'all for the day. Um, after I leave her, I have some packages I need to drop off at the post office. Then I need to, I'm gonna go to Play-Doh's. I got um, my bin back there from when I cleaned out my closet earlier this week. I only, well not my closet, the dresser in the closet. That's the only dresser I cleaned out. I didn't clean out the dresser in the room yet. So probably gonna be making another trip to Play-Doh's, but I just wanted to go ahead and empty out this bin because I also have bags of babies, baby clothes. So after um, Play-Doh's doesn't take whatever they don't take, I'm gonna drop everything else off at Go uh, Goodwill. Then after that, well, while Play-Doh's is, you know, going through that stuff, I'm going to go to the supermarket real quick because, oh, I didn't take the chicken out. I'm going to tell you to take chicken out. Um, making stuffed chicken tonight and also making this TikTok sandwich recipe. So stay tuned for that when I get back from, you know, being outside. So, y'all, this is Erica. Make sure you guys book the butterfly effect if you're in the area. Thank you. And Thank I will you. be back with the final product. So, y'all, I am back in the house, and this is what my lashes look like. So, this is her um, volume set. So, they are really full, very different, and definitely going to take some getting used to because I just personally don't like the way lashes look on me when I don't have any makeup on like especially since this isn't like the natural set the natural set probably would have been perfect but this is like the most dramatic set so this is really for a night out you trying to get the blanket on the bed baby it's on but yeah um another thing that I had noticed like right when she was done another reason why I don't wear lashes y'all is because y'all know I wear glasses so if these were any longer like she did the perfect length she was asking me like what I wanted I'm like girl I'm your model whatever you want to do do it like so i believe i have 12 to 15 um 15 on obviously the outer part of my eye what happened but like i'm still able to put my glasses over them perfectly like my glasses aren't touching the lens it's not uncomfortable nothing like that so that is great but um now that I'm back in the house, I'm actually about to make that TikTok scene, which I'll probably just insert the TikTok and then show you guys my final product because this camera battery is actually about to die and I'm charging my other one. So that's also why I didn't vlog while I was getting my lashes done um, because this, this battery is about to die. But yeah, I got my lashes done and my nails still look a hot mess, y'all. I actually um, came to the conclusion that I think I'm actually going to let my nails grow and not go to an actual salon i'm gonna become a press-on girl i got mad press-ons and i have yet to use any of them um some of them i got from forever 21 which are like my favorite ones i'm gonna show you they're real simple but like who knew forever 21 had press-ons not me it was the forever 21 in new york because i've never seen it in the forever 21 out here but yeah so i'm also gonna put some present yeah, why am i talking like that some press-ons on um after i make the sandwich and also, y'all see, I took that ponytail out. My hair is literally still molded up to how she had the ponytail. Um, but I just don't feel like washing it. So I just twisted my little braid into a bun. And I've been wearing it like that. Granted, I also haven't really left the house since I took the ponytail out. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> so to the kitchen we go because I'm hungry and this sandwich is about to hit. Same day, but I'm actually back hours later y'all i apologize i didn't wind up making the sandwich and it was really good or whatever inserts pictures here your girl did that um there was a lot of tiktoks and i couldn't find the original tiktok that i saw that made me want to make the sandwich so i was just looking for some i'll insert the two that you know i kind of followed kind of didn't i wouldn't say it's really like a recipe card to it I mainly needed the TikToks for how to make the little lettuce coleslaw thing because that that's the main attraction of the sandwich. That's what really made the sandwich the sandwich, feel me? It's just shredded lettuce, red onions, mayo, the submarine dressing. I did see some people use red wine, vinegar, and Italian dressing instead, which ultimately the submarine uh, dressing, whatever, 
tastes like Italian dressing. That's how they be getting you. Um, but that oregano, salt, pepper, garlic. Uh, I didn't have any red pepper flakes, but some people were using red pepper flakes. But anyway, sandwich hit. Okay, I also was supposed to be making dinner tonight. Like I made the sub as soon as I got um home from you know get my lashes done. So that was ultimately lunch. But y'all, we had this big, mind you, originally I was gonna have my whole my own whole sandwich. Babe was gonna have his whole own sandwich. But I was like, me, I'm honestly not gonna eat a whole sandwich, so let's just split it. So we just got one loaf. Y'all, we both only ate half of our half. Like that's how big that sandwich was. Um, so I actually still have some of that left. And then I was gonna make stuffed chicken tonight, but I actually had leftovers from yesterday. And so I'm back. Uh, I didn't even tell you guys let me check in real quick so i did start back eating trying to eat more i decided i'm gonna focus more so on the eating for right now because that is the hardest part y'all having to eat is the hardest part and this boy i work with he was telling me you know take my calories and protein in liquid form like drinks and stuff he's like it's easier to drink than it is to eat which for me, it's both equally as hard. Like, I'm not a drinker kind of girl, neither. Like, I'm just not. I will not finish a smoothie. I will not finish. Yeah, but I did find another TikTok. Y'all, TikTok be coming in clutch. It'd be a hit or miss if you didn't see that last vlog. Go check out the last vlog because sometimes TikTok be hyping stuff up. But let me show you how this drink I got off TikTok recommendation. That is so good. So I'm actually about to finish drinking the rest of it. It is the Core Power Protein High Protein Milkshake by Fairlife. So Fairlife is actually the brand of milk that Kaya drinks. Why? Honestly, my aunt had this brand at her house. And then when I saw it in stores, I just got it. Only thing I know is that uh, Fairlife is lactose free. Kaya is not lactose intolerant or anything, but... Just because my aunt had it at her house that one time, once Kaya was done, you know, with bottles and stuff, I, that's just the milk I switched over. She started off at the 2% one, but then I went to the whole milk version. No preference, really. That's just the brand. But anyways, this girl on TikTok, she had this one, but she had the caramel one, right? And she went to Starbucks and she got a shot of espresso and, you know made a little coffee drink. I was looking for the caramel one, I couldn't find it, so I ended up finding the vanilla one. So I went and tried to do that hack the other day and it was a fail. I got three shots of espresso because your girl, I, I like the coffee taste, but I went to a Starbucks that was in Barnes and Noble. So it wasn't really Starbucks, it was their cafe, but they made Starbucks drinks. Anyways, I ordered three shots of espresso over ice and put it in a venti cup why the cup was halfway full shots of espresso is not that much but whatever like it's not that it shouldn't have been that much espresso but anyway so I poured the vanilla version of this over it and it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give I don't know because I waited till I got home to start drinking it because I poured it in the car but I didn't have a straw to stir it so I couldn't drink it till I got home and I guess maybe by the time I got home it got watered down from the ice and that's why it wasn't good because these alone y'all is really good it literally tastes like a milkshake that isn't as thick a thin milkshake if you will so that wasn't the problem it's sweet and everything but I think the water really watered down the espresso so that didn't make it good either that or I had too many shots of espresso maybe I should have just did one shot like she did but neither here nor there I can drink this all by itself so the girl on TikTok also the caramel one I think was only 30 grams of protein as y'all can see this baby right here is 42 grams of protein um and protein aids in weight gain so i will be drinking the 42 grams and what i really really love about this and she also pointed that out in her tiktok hold on let me take a drink uh, a sip of this like y'all know what it tastes like it tastes like nesquik that's literally exactly what it tastes like nesquik and that used to be my milk growing up <laughs> um but what was i saying yeah i have no idea what i was about to say but anyways at this point i've tried the vanilla one and the strawberry one when i first went to acme to tr get them in general they only had vanilla and they did have the strawberry the chocolate one was sold out though so clearly i need to try the chocolate one next because it's, it's doing something right that it's sold out the second time i re-upped i went to walmart and they only had the vanilla and strawberry so i was like you know what let me try the strawberry this time because the first time i only tried vanilla both of them bussing like as of now, I've been drinking one a day. They're like $3 each. 
Um, I want to try to up to twice a day, once in the morning, and then once right before bed, like literally drink it and then go to sleep. Because, you, you know, they say you're not supposed to uh, drink you're not supposed to eat before you go to sleep because that's how you gain weight. But your girl trying to gain weight, so I'm going to do that. But anyways, um, back to me, you know, back to my eating, whatever, whatever. So I decided to mainly focus on that. And hopefully, you know, I just have the genes or body type that as I'm gaining the weight, since I won't be working out, it just, you know, magically goes to the right places on its own. Obviously, if it doesn't, that's when I will, you know, really make it a mission to start actively working out. But for right now, I got to gain the weight. Let's start there. So I have been trying to eat a lot more. Um, so I made the grinder. Then I ate the leftovers from yesterday. And then I was going to cook again tonight to make it, you know, that hella food that I didn't eat all day. I also bought this protein um, oatmeal from Walmart. Mad good, y'all. It's the brown maple sugar. Quaker oh I remember what I was saying when I just lost my train of thought so the girl on TikTok had made it a point like stuff that has extra protein in it is normally nasty it tastes like chalk it tastes like powder it tastes like it's not it's artificial like that's what it tastes like so like the protein powder that I was adding to my smoothies and everything go watch the old the other vlog when I initiated that I was on a weight gain journey that we gave well is it a weight gain powder it's a protein powder. It's nasty, but I was drinking it because, you, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But when I tell y'all this stuff is so good, like Nesquik is, that's how you describe it to a T. It literally tastes like um, Nesquik. And again, it is Fair Life brand. So I believe it is lactose free. If you are lactose intolerant, um, I believe it is lactose free. Don't quote me on that. You know, do your own research. A 10 out of 10 highly recommend i'm about to eat the rest of my sandwich finish drinking this and go to bed so you know hopefully that weight will stick i'm gradually doing it though because it is still a lot to be eating i wanted to make some guacamole tonight too and have little chips for a snack but time done got the best of me y'all i don't know where time be going but it be flying and i actually have to be up early tomorrow morning so i did do a little poll um 10 days ago asking you guys like do y'all like long vlogs and it was three options it was 30 minutes and up an hour and up and then no I don't like long vlogs keep it cute and simple 20 minutes um and 30 minutes and above one and my last vlog was 27 minutes and I'm afraid I didn't do too much in this vlog so I don't know how long this vlog is and old me old me would have scrapped this vlog like I would have got to this point and been like I ain't do nothing it's not long enough I'm just not going to post it, but y'all, foot is on the gas for the next six months. So I'm going to post what I post. And the real one's going to watch it. And the loyal one's going to subscribe. And the top tier, the gang, the canine gang, if you know, you know. They're going to watch, subscribe, post on notifications. They're going to like, comment, share. They're going to do all of that. Shout out to you if you do. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Chat with me in the comments below. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. And stay tuned for next week's vlog because I am so excited about tomorrow. And that will be in next week's vlog. But yeah, I'm excited. Bye, y'all. Go on and subscribe. Don't forget it. You're in for a Friday. I'll put the time in for you.